At this time, will the audience please stand for the singing of our national anthem and remain standing for the Forest Hills alma mater. Gentlemen of our graduating class, please remove your caps at this time. Harlock and members of the course, seniors, you now may be seated. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Gage Singer, senior class president, who will give the welcoming address. Gage is the son of Sherry and James Singer of St. Michael. Gage was an active member of student council Future Business Leaders of America, National Honor Society, and Spanish Honor Society. He received the School Director's Award, the President's Award for Educational Excellence, and the IUP Sutton Scholarship. Gage will be attending the Indiana University of Pennsylvania, majoring in political science and minoring in pre-law. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the Senior Class President Mr. Gage Singer. Good evening. I would like to start off by welcoming all of you to the class of 2018's graduation ceremony. In making my speech, I wanted to say many things, but they can all be summed to a single congratulations, thank you, and good luck. Congratulations on making it to the final chapter of our lives as Forest Hill students. And congratulations on the many accomplishments you have all made in your time here. On the same note, thank you. Thank you staff for being great influences on us and thank you family and friends. Without all of your support, none of us would be the same. And that is something that no amount of thanks can amount to. Seniors. Thank you for being such a great class. Thank you all for being funny, courageous, bold, and excellent. Together we have had many laughs and many memories. And we will take, we will take this to college in all of our journeys. I know it. As a conclusion, I want to wish you all good luck in your endeavors. Whether you enter the workforce, military, college, or any other walk of life, good luck, have fun, 
and enjoy yourselves. Life has so much to offer you, and I wish you the best. I love you all, no emoji. Thank you. Thank you, Gage. At this time, I'd like to introduce our platform guests for this evening. First, Mr. Keith Rager, school board member. Mrs. Corinna Long, school board member. Mr. John Bob, school board member. Dr. Richard Knabel, school board member. Dr. Timothy Andre, school board member. Mrs. Tracy Helsel, school board member. Representing the high school faculty, Mrs. Chris Valco. Representing the junior high faculty, Mr. Brian Madison. <laughs> Representing the elementary faculty, Mrs. Noel Miller. <laughs> Dr. Robert Dill, elementary assistant principal. Mr. Michael Brannis, Dean of Students, Junior Senior High. Mr. Ed Alexander, Junior High Principal. Mrs. Rebecca Roberts, Elementary Principal. Mr. Galen George, School Board President. Mr. Lucas Jacobs, Director of Education. Mr. Edwin Bowser, Superintendent. Mr. Brian Coston, Junior Senior High School Assistant Principal. Mr. Gage Singer, Senior Class President. <laughs> Ms. Sydney Kakabar, Salutatorian, Class of 2018. <laughs> and Ms. Alyssa Murphy, Valedictorian, Class of 2018. <laughs> Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Edwin Bowser. Mr. Bowser is a 1976 graduate of Richland High School. He began his teaching career in 1981 as an auto body instructor at the Greater Johnstown Career and Technology Center. Mr. Bowser earned his Superintendent's Letter of Eligibility from Gannon University in 2007. He has been employed in various capacities in the Forest Hills School District since 1999. He began his Forest Hills career as the high school assistant principal and was appointed principal of the high school in 2006. In 2009, Mr. Bowser was appointed director of education where he remained until his appointment to the superintendency in 2011. Ed is married to the former Dana Bevick of Ferndale. She is employed as an OB nurse at Economaw Hospital. They have three children, Zachary, Elena and Logan. Ladies and gentlemen, the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Edwin Bowser. Welcome, everyone. So 
Somebody asked me before I got here, my nerves, after 20 years of doing this, you still get a little butterflies. So bear with me, but uh, it gets easier as time goes on. Before I begin my address to the graduate winning class, I'd certainly like to recognize two individuals who will be retiring at the conclusion of this year. This teacher and fellow administrator had been instrumental in providing a solid educational foundation to you to successfully graduate and successfully transition from four schools to post-secondary education or the world of work. These individuals are Mrs. Debbie Duknock, who's an elementary third grade teacher, 21 years at Forest Hill School District. Mrs. Marion Boyer, food service director, 30 years at Forest Hills. These individuals have accumulated a total of 51 years of teaching and serving the Forest Hills School District. The district and Forest Hills community are grateful to them for their dedication, guidance, and many contributions towards making Forest Hills one of the most respected school districts in the state of Pennsylvania. Also at this time, before I begin my formal speech, I would like to take a moment to recognize Mrs. Claudia Miha, who unexpectedly passed away a few weeks ago. Claudia was an extraordinary individual who for 42 years dedicated her life to helping students in our area. She was a graduate of Forest Hill School District, valedictorian, school psychologist, special education supervisor, and a true advocate for students. At this time, I'd also like to recognize Mr. Fred Russell, who unexpectedly passed away in November while serving on our school board. Mr. Russell served our school board for over 20 years and for the past 11 served as school board president. Mr. Russell was instrumental in the construction of our new junior senior high school. He was a devoted family member and, a dedicate, and dedicated a large portion of his time to the students and the faculty in, at the Forest Hill School District. Good evening, family, friends, Forest Hills administration, professional staff, board of directors, and most of all, to the class of 2018. I would like to extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to all of you. Each year since 1999, the year that I was hired at Forest Hills by the board of directors as a high school assistant principal, I began my speech to the graduating class exactly the same way. And being a creature of habit, I'm not going to change. So tonight, I'm making you a promise. I'm promising the graduates, their family, and individuals in attendance that they're going to receive something special. Actually, I'm going to give them a gift. The gift doesn't have any financial value, but it probably meant more to the audience that evening than almost any monetary present I could give them. The gift I bestow onto your class and the same gift that I pre to their class, and the same gift I present to you tonight, is my speech will be very, very short. Thank you. I'm keeping it short because tonight really isn't about me or my speech. Tonight's all about you and your journey. I know that you're eager to get your diplomas and join your family and friends to share the moment. And to be honest, that's how it should be, because tonight is your night. You know, every year since I became an administrator in Forest Hills, people approach me and ask, what particular aspect will you remember about this class? Just one or two words that encapsulates or accurately describes this class. Most administrators usually use descriptives as most athletic, most studious, most talented. Actually, every individual seated in front of this podium possess, possesses tremendous attributes and has the potential to achieve greatness. Through my many years of experience in dealing with people, I've learned that every graduating class is different in its own special way. Just like families, no two siblings are alike. And so is each graduating class I've been associated with at Forest Hills. Each class has its own quirks, reputations, idiosyncrasies, that make it different from any other one. Lately, at least for the last few months, people have begun to ask me what I feel has been my greatest or our greatest accomplishment or achievement in the Forest Hill School District. I guess it's because of my youthful appearance and my receding hairline that I now have been encountering this question. 
I really didn't think about it until recently. I guess most people would think that uh, one of my greatest educational accomplishments would be the construction of the new junior senior high school. And truly, it was a rewarding and sometimes challenging experience that many of us sitting here in attendance tonight work together to accomplish. Some individuals in our community would contend that our biggest accomplishment was through our continued work with our staff and school board that we were able to not raise taxes in 24 consecutive years and still built a state-of-the-art $50 million educational facility. I believe that's quite an accomplishment to ensure that we were financially responsible while not jeopardizing academic excellence. Each year for the past seven years we have met or exceeded state expectations at almost every level and in every building on state PSSA and Keystone exams. For the past four out of six years we have been recognized by U.S. News and World Report as one of the top performing high schools in the entire country. Year in and year out, our elementary school and junior high school have been top performing schools in the entire IUA consortium. These accomplishments and accolades are wonderful, and I'm proud to say that we accomplished them together. But as I reflect back on my 37 years in public education as a classroom teacher, and a guidance counselor, assistant principal, director of education, and finally superintendent, I can honestly say that my proudest achievement is you. Watching you and thousands of students like you grow and mature and change into unique, unique people in your own special way will make a positive, who will make a positive difference in the world in which we live. You and other students like you have been a major part of my life, and I hope I've been able to play a small part in your educational experience at Forest Hills. All of us, family, your friends, your fellow students, your teachers, your coaches, and your advisors have worked together to shape and mold you into what you are today. I hope that someday when you look back, you can say that we've had a positive influence on your life. Believe it or not, in my many years of interacting with young men and women, I've learned a few things. I've learned that the most destructive habit is worry. The greatest joy is giving. The greatest loss, loss of self-respect. The most satisfying work, helping others. The ugliest personal trait, selfishness. The most endearing species, dedicated leaders. I've learned our greatest natural resource is our youth. The greatest shot in the arm is encouragement. The greatest problem to overcome is fear. The most effective sleeping pill, peace of mind. The most crippling fault is excuses. I learned that the most powerful force in life is love. The most incredible computer, the human brain. The worst thing to be without is hope. The deadliest weapon is the tongue. The two most powerful, powerful filled words, I can. The greatest asset is faith. The most beautiful attire is a smile. The most prized possession is a person's integrity. And the most powerful channel of communication is prayer. Finally, in every speech, on every single occasion, for 20 years that I've been at Forest Hills, I've always tried to find some words or wisdom or quote that will leave a lasting impression and hopefully have a special meaning. This year I added a little twist, to be honest with you. This year, as your superintendent, I would like to share with you and your family a short video entitled, The Coffee Cup. So Mr. Elias, without further ado, if you would please show the video. Life is like a cup of coffee. A group of alumni, highly established in their careers, got together to visit their old university professor. Conversations soon turned to complaints about stress in work and life. Offering his guests coffee, the professor went to the kitchen 
and return with a large pot of coffee and an assortment of cups. Porcelain, plastic, glass, crystal. Some plain looking. Some expensive. Some exquisite. He told his guests to help themselves to the coffee. After everyone had a cup of coffee in hand, the professor said, If you noticed, all the nice looking expensive cups have been taken up. Leaving behind the plain and cheap ones. While it is normal for you to want only the best for yourselves, that is the source of your problems and stress. Be assured that the cup adds no quality to the coffee. In most cases, it is just more expensive. And in some cases, even hides what we drink. What all of you really wanted was coffee, not the cup. But you consciously went for the best cup. And then you began eyeing each other's cups to see who had the best one. Now consider this. Life is the coffee. The job, money, and position in society are the cups. They are just tools to hold and contain life. And the type of cup we have does not define nor change the quality of life we live. Sometimes, by concentrating only on the cup, we fail to enjoy the coffee. Savor the coffee, not the cup. The happiest people don't have the best of everything. They just make the best of everything. Live simply. Speak kindly. Care deeply. Love generously. Life is like a cup of coffee. What really matters? The wins, the losses in high school that once seemed so important will fade away as time passes and you begin the new journey. It doesn't matter where you came from or what side of the tracks you lived on. So what matters? How will you value your days be measured as you reflect on them 40 years from now? What will matter is not what you bought, but what you built. Not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not your success, but your significance. What will matter is not what you learned, but what you taught. What will matter is every act of integrity, compassion, courage, or sacrifice that enriched, empowered, or encouraged others to emulate you. Living a life that matters doesn't happen by accident. It's not a matter of circumstance as much as a matter of choice. Choose a life that matters. On behalf of the Board of Education Administration, we wish to each and every one of you a happy and productive life. Respect your fellow man and love your family. May your future be filled with promise and happiness. I feel honored and privileged to serve as your superintendent. Remember, know who you are, what you believe in, and where you want to go. And always remember, it's great to be a ranger. God bless and good luck to the graduating class 2018.
Thank you, Mr. Bowser. At this time, our senior class chorus members will sing their rendition of The Call. Again, Mr. Parlock and senior members of our course. The salutatorian of the class of 2018 is Miss Sydney Kakabar. Sydney is the daughter of Timothy and Carol Kakabar and resides in Salix. While at Forest Hills, Sydney was involved in many activities forensics, where she earned two district championships, one regional championship, was a state semifinalist and two-time national competitor in the pros category. Sydney also participated in the Future Business Leaders of America as this year's chapter vice president, regional champion this year in the category of help desk, two-time state competitor, this year's state runner-up in the help desk category, and will participate in the national FBLA competition next month in Baltimore, Maryland. Additionally, Sydney was active in the arts as this year's chorus president and tenor section leader. She is a three-time district and regional chorus participant and a two-time state chorus participant. Sydney's other activities include the varsity golf team, SAD, media club, mock trial, concert band, and scholastic quiz where the team participated in their first ever state tournament last month. Sydney will attend Seton Hill University this fall and major in biology and pre-medicine in the honors program. Due to her scholastic achievements, she already has provisional acceptance into Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine Medical School or LECOM. Sydney has received the highest academic scholarship at Seton Hill University the Elizabeth Ann Seton Scholarship, totaling more than $94,000 over four years. Other scholarships received include the Rotary Club Academic Scholarship, 
and the Strandquist Simmons Entrepreneurial Scholarship. Sydney's ultimate goal is to specialize in neurology and one day become a neurosurgeon. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you our salutatorian, Miss Sydney Kakabar. Good evening, everyone. I want to start out my speech with a quote. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Life is a process, picking the road you want to travel on, and when you get lost, <laughs> finding another one. This road should make you happy, it should make you proud, and it should make you feel fulfilled. This road needs to be the path that you choose. Never let anyone decide for you what will make you happy or what is the most beneficial action for you to take. Make that decision for yourself. Don't let anyone beat you down. No matter how much fun or cool it may be to just fit in with the crowd, not study or take the route of status quo, because good enough isn't. Be stronger. Take the high road. Be your best self. Don't be the self others want you to be because that is not you. You are you. Be proud of yourself and truly believe that you did everything possible to make the best decisions for a successful future. Stick up for yourself. Ignore those who make fun of you for overachieving. Be decisive. Persist for what you believe in. You want to know one great thing about graduating high school? The new clean slate on life that we get. A fresh start. I'm sure that as I was saying that last sentence, some of you were sitting there thinking, oh, crap. <laughs> I never did my homework. School was not a priority. I didn't care enough to try. That senioritis, whew, man, it really got me. I could have done better. Well, let me tell you, you have a lifetime of chances to grow or to do better. If you are not happy with the way you ended school or indecisive about the next step in life, whether that be college, the military, or the workforce, fix it. Be proactive. This is your do-over. Make yourself proud by working hard to create the life that you want, a life that you will love. I know this all sounds like a lot to accomplish. <laughs> and believe me, I know. When I was back in middle school, I had some life-changing events went through some injuries that forced me to change the course of my high school career and my life in general. It, it wasn't easy. I was a three-sport athlete, and after two knee surgeries, I couldn't be that version of Sydney Kakabar anymore. I was faced with that monumental challenge of where the heck do I go from here? What am I supposed to do with my life? Everything that I know and understand has been ripped away from me, and there is nowhere to go. My only option was to see the opportunity that this created for me. I had to look at the positives because positives are what make change happen. Be open to change, new people and new experiences. Never pass up an opportunity. When one door closes, look for another one to walk through. I discovered a new version of myself by doing this. One that loved music, one that wanted to use her speaking voice, one that was open to learning new things, and one that stuck up for herself and what she believed in. I'm not afraid to say that I am proud of myself, and I am happy about the person I have become and am. My question for all of you and all the people here tonight is, are you? Can you wholeheartedly say that you are proud of yourself? If the answer is yes, then that is, that's great. I'm very happy for you because you all deserve to be proud of yourself. If the answer is ever no in life, then make the leap and open a new door. There are opportunities all around you. You just need to see them and act. One piece of advice that I need to add is never go through life alone. I know I've heard these next statements 
quite a few times walking through the halls of Forest Hills and in classrooms over the years. No one understands me. Teachers are out to get you. There isn't anyone to talk to. No one cares about me or my life. Let me tell you, there are people out there who care deeply for you, whether they be family, friends, teachers, mentors, or people that you haven't even come across yet. Find others around you who will be there to support you and are going to help guide you to your best self. You might be surprised who it is. You're not going to be able to go through life and accomplish everything by yourself. Humans need other humans to thrive and be happy. I can almost guarantee you that the road after high school is not going to be an easy one. There are going to be a lot of detours and constant construction. I mean, my goodness, we live in Western Pennsylvania. When is there not? But I can guarantee you that you can get to your perfect destination. It will just take some time, some perseverance, some opportunities, and some courage to keep going. My mother always says that too much is given, much is expected. You all have gifts and talents and you have the immense potential to do amazing things. I have known some of you for 13 years and some of you even longer. And I believe in each and every one of you. I have seen the compassion that you show for one another, intelligence when it comes to solving problems, understanding when someone has made a mistake, patience when someone is trying to learn, and most importantly, your humanity. Each one of you is special in your own way. Show that to the world. We may come from a small rural area, but together as the class of 2018, we are strong. We are strong enough to want to make ourselves better. We are strong enough to help others. We are strong enough to solve the hard problems in life, and we have the strength and courage to change the world. We will make an impact. The goal starts when we walk out of these doors tonight. I would now like to take the opportunity to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me in whatever I choose to do and accomplish and for teaching me to be strong and to always try my hardest no matter what because I only get one shot at this life and I want to make it count. I also want to thank my teachers and other school employees who have helped me along my path and cared deeply for their students. I in the class of 2018 will always remember you and we thank you. At this time, I would like to thank my classmates who will be joining the military to guarantee our continued freedom and protecting the ability of each and every person here tonight to chase our dreams. At this time, I'd like to ask you to stand so we can all properly recognize you. last, my dad told me to take a good look around tonight, because as we became used to seeing each other's faces over the years, tonight might be the last time we see each other. So I ask that you look to the person to your left and to your right <laughs> and, <laughs> and take time to truly wish them well, because each of our roads will take a diverse and unique direction as we race and chase our dreams. I would like to take this final opportunity, class of 2018, to say good luck, goodbye, and God bless you all as we work towards our dreams and our goals. Just promise me one thing. Take the road less traveled by. Take the road that was put there just for you because that will make all the difference. Thank you. Our valedictorian of the class of 2018 is Miss Alyssa Murphy. 
Alyssa is the daughter of Matthew and Lori Murphy of Summerhill. She was a member of the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, Student Council, Envirothon, Reading Competition, JCJCETs, Mock Trial, Drama, Forensics, and Future Business Leaders of America. And I'm pretty sure that's every organization we have in the school. Miss Murphy was a member of the varsity soccer team and the track team, earning letters in both sports, and played for the Forest Hills Rampage indoor soccer team as well. This year, Alyssa served as treasurer of the senior class. Alyssa received the School Director's Award, the President's Education Award, the Rotary Club Academic Excellence Award, the Tribune Democrat Academic All-Star Award, the Senior Biology Slash Life Science Award, and the Aaron Hostetler Scholarship. Alyssa will attend Lehigh University, majoring in bioengineering on the pre-med track. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you our valedictorian, Miss Alyssa Murphy. Welcome to the class of 2018's graduation. Before I begin, let me start off by thanking everyone here. Friends, family, and staff, we could not be here without you. And I'd like to take a moment to speak for all of us when I say that I am thankful to see you here supporting us as we make this great transition into adulthood. I'd also like to dedicate this speech to my dad, who stood in front of his own class 29 years ago and spoke as I am today. Finally, I'd like to thank the Forest Hill staff again, especially the teachers, who put in the time and effort so that we'd all be here tonight. You've taught us all so much, and we'll miss you more than we know. To my classmates, we are here today in this auditorium because we finished the first chapter of our lives. It's truly a happy day. We floundered and we thrived, and we made it to the end. Let's let that sink in for a moment, because it still hasn't hit me yet. We're done. All of our 13 years sum up to this point, and I am beyond honored to be standing here speaking to you as we leave them behind to start our future. When I started writing this, I first thought about the past. For the majority of our lives, from age 5 to 18, we've been here together at Forest Hills. During that time, we grew up alongside one another, learning subjects like math and English, while also forming lasting friendships with our classmates. At a young age, we jumped off swings and did awesome tricks on the monkey bars because for some reason, we thought it was a great idea to do so. The highlight of our early years were the carnivals, where we played tug of war and ate nachos before bouncing on inflatables while watching a slideshow of our class. In fifth grade, we thought ourselves growing up, even hosting a wedding for two elementary sweethearts on a rainy recess day. Later on, we actually started growing up but not really. It began playing school sports like soccer or football, where our team became our family. And we started getting more serious about our schoolwork. We studied, or didn't study, for the numerous tests we received, took responsibility for the leave project that was done by our parents, and struggled year after year to understand MLA formatting without much progress. Still, we persisted through bouts of senioritis and made it through our final year to be sitting where we are today, wondering about our future and what lies ahead for us in the long run. It is this pondering that I hope to address, and perhaps possibly alleviate for all of you. In the future, our generation will bring change. This I know. Whether it will be for the better or for the worse, I do not. As my classmate Sarah Zaytek wisely said two days ago, we shouldn't assume that we're going either way. The future can be scary, it can be daunting, but only if we let it. Who knows what will be 10 years from now, and frankly, who cares? Its outcome has the tangibility of smoke. The truth is, ourselves from 10 years is not important. You may be thinking, isn't our future where we see ourselves what graduation's all about? Yes, it is. And of course, I don't mean that we shouldn't have any plans for the future, 
but we also shouldn't swear by them. Many of us, myself included, already have a set plan for exactly who we should be and what we are going to do with our lives after high school. Sometimes the problem with this, this is that it prevents us from broadening our horizons and experiencing new interests that may reveal a new, previously unseen path over the years. My advice is this, go out into this world, try new things, make mistakes, be fearless. Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, if you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. But if you are at peace, you are living in the present. So yes, the future may be scary, and our past mistakes may make us hesitant. But if we seize today and all the possibilities, we have nothing to worry about. Our long-term plans won't fail or lead us astray because we allow them to be flexible, developing with us each day as we experience what life has to offer. And that's okay. We can change our minds and futures and, create, and correct the mistakes of our past. And it starts by living in the present. This is the message I impart to you. The time is here, the time of our generation. We look to the past and to the future, but we don't live in or wait for either because class of 2018, we are the present. We are today. And I don't know what our day holds, but when I look around and see you all, I'm excited to see what we do with it. Thank you. Thank you, Alyssa. Congratulations, class of 2018. Today marks yet another transition in all of your lives. Transitions sometimes give us the opportunity to start anew or to continue the good work we've already begun. Transitions can be hard to notice or very dramatic. No matter how big or small, how we move forward and the direction we take is in part shaped by where we have been. All of you have worked hard to make today become a reality. Tomorrow will begin a new chapter in each of your lives. We are forever connected in life's journey, and this journey will continue to be marked by transitions, all of which will be memorable in some way. Our hope for you is this, that we have prepared you to face whatever challenges and obstacles life presents you. Face these challenges and the connected transitions with confidence and determination knowing that the knowledge and experiences you have gained from Forest Hills will help you along your own journey from one transition to the next. It has been an honor, a pleasure, and a privilege to have been your principal over the last three years. I congratulate all of you on your accomplishment and your future success. Good luck and God bless. And now, to introduce the graduating seniors, is the assistant principal of the junior senior high school, Mr. Brian Coston. Presenting the diplomas is the president of the board of school directors, Mr. Galen George. Thank you, Mr. Vassis, and congratulations to all our graduates tonight. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to introduce you to the class of 2018. Alyssa Marie Murphy. Thank you. 
Sydney Jacqueline Kakabar. Gage Anthony Singer. Adam Richard Bambino. Kara Ruth Bumgardner. Landon James Bumgardner. Brian Martin Bernard. Zane Matthew Bob. Jensen Alexander Bowen. Kylie Ryan Bridge. Sarah Grace Diver. Cody James Herb. Caitlin Rose Glass. Shelby Hudson Hostatler. Brandon Sean Halton. Evan John Kunrod. Madison Jamie Leventry. Alyssa Margaret Madison. <laughs> Kaylin Mary McClintock. Alexis Brianne Miller. Nicholas Mark Perriton. Angela Ray Rock. Victoria Ann Russick. (laughs) 
Hannah Grace Sivy. Cassandra Rose Smith. Michael Eric Tino. Kelsey Christine Falco. Carter John Vitez. <laughs> Alyssa K. Wicks. Sarah Michelle Zaytek. <laughs> Alex Troy Barclay. Dempsey Allen Barkley. <laughs> Ryan Thomas Barkley. <laughs> Mackenzie Rayall Bender. Devin James Birkin. Andrew Keith Blau. Catherine Francis Brendel. Braden James Chilcott. <laughs> Carrie Ann Claycomb. <laughs> Cody Allen Clifford. Christina Marie Canoni. <laughs> Benjamin James Crichton. <laughs> Timothy Edward Croyle. Shane Michael Deedle. Cassidy Ray DeLusa. <laughs> Hannah Nicole Deerling.
Jacob Charles Aggie. Eric Eugene Elgin. Brianna Lynn Eshbaugh. Reno Robert Fashani. Jessica Michelle Forker. Nikita Elizabeth Feeney. Alexis Lee Furchop. <laughs> Riley Aiden Fetzko Smay. Sarah Elizabeth Flick. Maria Michelle Gibson. Mackenzie Page Griffin. Kevin James Grove. <laughs> Kyle Eugene Handel. <laughs> Elizabeth Joy Hazlett. Taylor Ann Johns. <laughs> Abigail Grace Jordan. <laughs> Gregory Paul Josephson. Junior. <laughs> Brennan Michael Keating. <laughs> Daria Joy. Kirby. <laughs> Ashley Marie Nepper. <laughs> Joseph Jacob Knox. Yeah. 
Madison Taylor Marie Kuntz. Erica Lynn Kavalik. Austin Eugene Kuhn. Seth Edward Kolbach. Samuel Anthony LaRocca. Connor Trey Law. Taylor Joy Law. Jacob Scott Leventry. Braden Scott Lore. <laughs> Stephen Douglas Lineski. <laughs> Jonathan Joseph Long. Sarah Bell Lundberg. <laughs> Josie Ann McKendry. <laughs> Clayton Michael McVicker. Kylie Alexis Mikulik. <laughs> Logan Garrett Milkovich. <laughs> Anastasia Angelica Miller. Kevin Lee Hope Miller. <laughs> Shailen Ray Miller. <laughs> Rachel Margaret Minor. John Michael Montag. <laughs> Logan J. Moyer. <laughs> Douglas Scott Oler.
Haley Rose Pascarella. Ethan Philip Penrod. Valerie Nicole Pinella. Dakota John Plummer. Joshua Allen Reinier. Brock Jordan Rhodes. Ryan John Richardson. Madison Alexandra Ringler. Audrey Elizabeth Ritko. Zoe May Roush. Emily Rose Rosam. Sarah Christine Russell. Hunter Isaac Sir Lewis. Marley Jane Seawalk. Tyler James Seymour. Alex William Schaefer. Dylan James Schaefer. Shane Paul Sakura. Nicholas Robert Skelly. Sierra Rose Smay. Devin Matthew Smith. Wesley Andrew Stifler. Christian Alexander Steinspring. Shayla Ray Stormer. Wow. 
Abigail Ann Swanson. Kyler Ray Swires. Trey Aaron Templeton. Angel Marie Thays. Mackenzie Page Toth. Jacob D. Van Mel. Travis Roy Varner. Morgan Ashley Vassbinder. Courtney Joanne Walls. Brendan Patrick Webb. Kimberly Ann Wyant. <laughs> Lucas Andrew Williams. <laughs> Jeffrey Zane Wilson. Stephen Brett Winger. <laughs> Devin John Yakichik. <laughs> Selena Victoria Young. Gabrielle Lynn Zaragoza. Seniors, please rise. Seniors, at this time, move your tassels. By the power vested in me as the principal of the Forest Hills High School, I am pleased to state that these students have fulfilled the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Forest Hills School District. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the graduating class of 2018. This concludes our program. I invite everyone down to the floor to join in the celebration.
Thank you.